Hey guys, this is Juan from the Sign for Ventures. Let me drink some coffee first. Uh, today I'm just going to show you briefly. Uh, Keyshape has been updated to version 1.6 with some really cool new features. Let's explore them. Yeah, okay. Uh, so what's new here? Let's check out the Keyshape app website. Um, masking and clipping. This is really awesome. This is We can do a lot of cool stuff with this. Um, so we can just check out the documentation. And so you have an object, you have a mask, and you mask the object. And you can animate the masks, which, which is awesome because that is a very common technique you use inside of After Effects when the revealing paths and uh, illustration, everything, you know, it's really effective. So this is really cool. Uh, let's just check this out. You go to creating mask. To create a new mask, select an object and select the object insert new mask in a new format. Okay. And you let blah 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 blah. Hmm, okay, so first we need something here. So um, let me show you how I can do this. Uh, let's fire up Flaticon. What? Do I need to sign in? Okay, sorry, let's pause this now. I will sign in and be back in a few. So, okay, uh, now I downloaded this one, dragged up here, and I grouped the word sub, and uh, this one is separate, so that's great. Uh, let's group that one, and let's group that one. This is to make sure that this uh, exports nicely into Keyshape. So let's do like that. Make it exportable, export artboard, uh, masking tryout. Boom. Let's fire up Keyshape. Uh, let's first do this. So we have it here and just drag, drop it like that. Boom. Um, okay. So it said. To create a new mask, select an object, blah, blah, blah. Object, insert, new mask. Aha, uh -huh. okay, this is cool. This is like it is in Sketch. So, let's try this out. Uh, so, we have uh, the word sub here. Sub. We have the rectangle there. Let's just call it something else. Line. It's the frame. Frame. So, so let's. I want to animate. I'm gonna do. Uh, let's not do it with a fill. Let's do it with stroke. So let's try. It. I have never tried this out before. So this is uh, going to be really interesting. So um, put the thingy over the thingy. Place the object on top of another object. Select them. Ah, object masking. Cool. So let's do this. So to see this masking, we should do something like that. Boom, boom. Object masking and play. make clip path or make what was it now? Make clip path. Okay. Masking, make clip path. Boom. Nice. So if you're familiar with how Sketch uses masking, uh, then you are going to understand this awesome stuff. You can just animate that one. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, so let's check it out. Uh, we need to mark that one. Mm -hmm. That, and we do auto keyframing, and then we do Zumba Loomp. And this is so awesome. Yeah. So first we do we do really ugly animations here, then we can do the nice thing is the easing and stuff like that. So let's just I saw something there. So boom. Okay. So like that. 
and then we have uh, the word sub so let's make another thingy here like that let's put these two no not that there and there mask masking make clip path yes so here you have it this is the mask bingy bingy let's do this let's do this like that something like uh, okay switch you can switch off the snapping if you run into weird issues here uh, so we do like that so we do like that so let's do something nicer with these curves uh, let's press there and I'm lazy so uh, I don't know let's just do something weird here and that is way too slow so let's do like that and let's just do like this something like that uh, boom. yeah cool let's pre preview this So this is basically masking. Really basic stuff I have showed you. You can do a lot of cooler stuff, uh, but you get the basics. So you need to create objects and then um, animate the masks. He updated also the Lotti plugin and the AVD plugin so make sure to download the latest versions uh, and here you have all the release notes it's an awesome update great work pixel